Before I begin the video, I wanna say thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Wow, almost 200,000 people wanna watch my channel and subscribe to it, so thank you so much in advance. Also, that many people, that's a huge percentage of people who have their bell notifications turned all the way on, so thank you for that. And for those people who do have their bell notifications on, ta-da! We have a $100 gift card. So the first person who can enter that code into their Amazon account gets that money. So congratulations to all of you who have your bell notifications on. So make sure if you don't have them on, you click them all the way on. Also, if you're not a paying member of this channel, you might wanna click that join button right down below because I do a lot of insider information, behind the scenes stuff. And also I gave all of those members a heads up to this gift card. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Behind me, the 2020 Corvette, but that's not what we're here for. I've done a lot of Corvette videos about that thing right there underneath the cover, but today's video is about these seats. I've done these seats in the past, but I have never done one where it's been so quiet that we haven't had a lot of background noise. But most importantly, I think there's four seats to the 2020 Corvette, as we only see three right here. I have video proof of a fourth seat, but we won't know that. And this is the weird thing about building a brand new car is sometimes we don't always have all of the information to us. So nowhere out there does it say a fourth seat, but I have seen a fourth seat and I do have video of that fourth seat. But let's start by showing you these three seats. And we'll talk about that fourth seat. If this is the first time you're watching the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn all of your bell notifications on and drop a thumbs up on the video. All right, so here are all of the three seats, the GT1, the GT2, and the GT3 competition sport seat. Let's start down here because this is the seat that you get when you get a 1LT car. When you go to the 2LT car, you automatically get the GT2 seat and all three 1, 2, and 3LT cars, you can get the competition sport GT3 seat. This is the typical seat that you're gonna see in the one LT car. And I really like to do a lot of great up close showing you everything about the seat that I possibly can. This is gonna give you the most comfort of the seat. Now, both the GT1 and the GT2 seats are extremely comfortable. I have sat in all three of these seats and of course the fourth seat that we're gonna talk about as well. But what I've really found out and what I've really noticed is the day that I was sitting in all of these seats, my back was in excruciating pain that day and I felt comfortable getting in and out of this car multiple times. This car sits lower than my C7, but multiple times getting in and out of this car has been very, very well on the back. So with the GT1 seat, we got this nice big headrest up here. This is not a seat that you're gonna wanna use for racing harnesses. You can see that there isn't much room in there for a racing harness. For the 1LT seat, we just have this type of power here. We do not have uh, bladders or lumbar support up there. It's just this way right here. So you can see nice bolsters, decent size there, decent size there. You definitely have that sport seat feeling. And on the back side here, you have uh, an ABS plastic, so to speak, on that. And it's just, just like the rest of the seat there and inside of what you typically find the cars airbags right there and you have the typical now they say there's only one part coming from the c7 this looks a lot like the c7 but there is only one part and this is not it and this is just like the c7 having your seat belt go through there <clears throat> again kind of up close and personal on this seat it's a great seat if you get the one lt car this is the seat you are going to get. Moving over to the GT2 seat. You see a big difference in this seat. You see the pattern for the ventilation of this seat is a lot different here and there. You see that there's a lot more room up here uh, for racing harnesses, if you so to speak. And then also all the seats have carbon fiber right there. So you can see that carbon fiber in there. A little bit different headrest and a little bit different uh, seat belt holder. This is kind of like a snap magnet type thing snap no magnet just a snap and you can see that the side bolsters are a little bit more aggressive than that gt1 seat down here as well when you move to the gt2 seat uh you have lumbar support bladder support that's all of that stuff up there is what's moving for you and you have the same type of moving the seat forward uh, back up down and then that's your back right there now looking at this you can get this in leather or you can get this in microfiber and you can see that this has got all nice leather up there. This has got the red stitching 
on it. Nice headrest there, airbag still over there, and you have the black ABS plastic like you have on the GT1 seat. But when you move to this seat, you have a black high gloss right back here. Those lights are never friendly for me to show you that seat right there. But if I get in there just like this, you can kind of start seeing that black high gloss right there. Absolutely beautiful. I'll kind of show you the difference here. You can see that right there, that difference between the doll ABS and the high gloss over there. And let's hit the competition GT3 seat. Now this is the perfect seat to show because uh, this is still has leather appointed surfaces on it, but this has got the sport textile seating on it for the ultimate experience for driving. Keeps your butt planted in the seat. And I gotta tell you that this seat is much, much more aggressive than the C7 seat. This sets nothing like the C7 seat. Again, I have sat in all three of these seats and this is extremely tight. I was going to get this seat in my car and then I sat in the seat and I'm like, oh boy, not gonna do it. And to kind of show you, I'm six foot three. I'm not overweight, I'm height weight proportionate. So if you are not height weight proportionate, that seat is gonna hurt big time. It's very, very skinny, it's very, very tiny. And I should have taken some pictures of my ZR1 that I just recently had here to show you the differences on the seats, but that seat, as I just stated, is extremely tight and much narrower than the C7. We'll move back to this. So just like the GT2 seat, we have the same headrest, we have the same seat belt latch right there we have the same carbon fiber right there and then everything that's leather on this seat is right here right here right here and right here all of the rest of this is all sport textile very very i'm gonna get in here real tight lighten this up for you so you can see it this is extremely kind of like cloth stuff like that so that way you can uh keep your butt in a seat in a track situation so now the thing that i have seen is this seat does not have any side bolsters bladder or anything like that lumbar uh this is a 1lt what i believe is a 1lt competition gt3 seat so you also have the black high gloss there as well as right here on this seat now uh i'm gonna start i'm gonna show you i was just recently at an event and the gt3 seat had this guy right here and i am told that there are not bladders in the competition gt3 seat however as you see right here on the screen this seat does have it the seat that i'm showing you also is wrapped in the microfiber alcantara as you will seat configuration as well absolutely love it that's what i was going to do on my car and i'm not going to because i told you earlier about how narrow that gt3 seat is so there are all three seats, possibly four seat. We won't know until we start seeing production cars because everything that I have been showing you is pre-production. And that's the key to all of my videos that I've ever shown you, all of my videos that I've ever done on this channel for the C8 until they start production in December of 2019. These are all pre-production models. This car right here, this was hand built in Bowling Green, Kentucky. So uh, there's a lot of different things in here. Like this car doesn't have some stuff in it that's tex textured that's gonna be on the production car. I know that for a fact. So again, just a word of the wise, if you're making a decision off of my videos to buy a car at any dealership in the country, take it with a grain of salt because these are all pre-production information that I have and not production cars. So things can and probably will change. Well, there you have it, the competition, the GT2 and the GT1 seats. And I will tell you about that possible four seat. That seat you're going to find in the 2LT and the 3LT. You're not gonna find that in the 1LT. This one right here definitely is 100% a 1LT seat. So don't expect that bladder system for wing adjustment and lumbar support on that seat in any way, shape or form if you go to the 1LT trim level for your car. <laughs> So now, maybe we're talking about five seats in this car. I've gotten more information from a third party that, as we know, the GT1 seat is strictly for the 1LT. Well, now what they're thinking about doing is taking a hybrid of the GT2 seat. 
in the GT1 seat and making it big like these bolsters and stuff like that for an upgraded seat in the 1LT. I would assume that that's probably gonna see a 2021 introduction, not for 2020, but we're gonna have some seat options in there. That's all I gotta say. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. If this is the first time that you're watching the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn all your bell notifications on, drop a big thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day and drive safely.